Hi everyone, so today let us learn about chemical bonding. Before we learn about chemical bonding, we need to know that which one is metal while um, which one is non metal. Okay, Q plus Q2 plus and Q3 plus are all metal. This is because group 1, group 2, and group 13 are all metal. Wow. Q4 plus Q3 minus Q2 minus and Q minus are all non metal because group 14, group 15, and group 16, group 17 are all non metal. While group 18, which is noble gases, are not involved in chemical bonding because they have stable or the electro arrangement they are stable they therefore they are unreactive they will not react with which type of atom okay so now let's learn about chemical bond there are two types of chemical bond one is known as ionic bond while the other one is known as covalent bond okay for this bond this is between metal and non metal metal will donate while non metal will accept therefore metal is group 1 group 2 and group 13 while non-metal is group 14, 15, 16 and 17 while for covalent bond it is between non-metal and non-metal therefore they are all group 14, 15 16 and 17. Actually, why does the atom from group 1 to group 17 needs ionic bond and covalent bond? This is because they want their valence electron to be 8. They want their atom to achieve stable octet electron arrangement. Okay, so for example, for group 1, it has one valence electron. Therefore, to achieve stable octet electron arrangement, they will donate one valence electron to form two eights. And for group 17, it has eight electron arrangement is two eight seven. So to achieve stable octet electron arrangement, it will accept one valence electron to become two eight eight. Therefore, both of them will be attracted to form ionic bond okay okay so now let us see about some example as you can see that sodium um, electron is 11 therefore its electron arrangement will be 2 8 1 while oxygen its electron is 8 therefore its electron arrangement is 2 6 so from here we know that sodium is metal because it's under group 1 while wow. oxygen is non metal because it's under group 16. So, uh, metal and non metal they will form ionic bond. Okay, so as we know that metal will donate electron while non metal will accept electron, therefore, sodium will donate out this one valence electron so that it will achieve stable octet electron arrangement while for oxygen it will accept electron so that it electron arrangement will become two eights so we know that when sodium donates out this one valence electron it will become two eights and it will become an a plus ion while for oxygen it will accept two electrons to form two eights. Therefore, 
it will become O2 minus ion. So when both of them combine, O2 minus and Na plus, they will become Na2O. Okay, so from here we know that we need to draw two sodium so that two sodium can donate two electrons to fulfill the needs for the oxygen to accept two electrons to become 28 okay so now let's start to draw so now when sodium donates one last electron its electron arrangement left 28 okay so now let's draw sodium first and a since it's left 28 therefore we need to draw two shells only okay for sodium we use x When sodium has donated one valence electron, it will become Na plus. Okay? So now let us draw another one. O. Different element we use different symbol. Therefore, for oxygen we use dot. When it accept two electron it will become okay so for at first it is two six once it accept electron from sodium it will become two eight therefore the electron that it received from sodium we need to use x to represent that this electron is received from sodium not itself okay and now it will become two minus okay we found that it received two electron but so but one sodium only donate one electron therefore we need to draw another one sodium So when sodium donate electron and oxygen accept electron, they both will be attracted by strong electrostatic forces of attraction to form ionic bond. Okay, so now let us look about Tolan bond. Okay, as since carbon electron is 6, therefore its electron arrangement is 2, 4. While since oxygen electron is 8, therefore its electron arrangement is 2, 6. So from here we know that both of them are non-metal. This is because carbon is under group 14 while oxygen is under group 16. So once they share electron, carbons will become C. 4 plus while oxygen will become O2 minus so therefore when both of them combine they will become C2O4 so to simplify it they will become carbon dioxide so from here we know that we need to draw one carbon and two oxygen since both of them sharing electron they will be attracted by weak when the walls forces of attraction so now let's start to draw since we share electron therefore three, um, three of them will interact with each other we need to draw C in between oxygen this is because carbon has only one while oxygen has two okay so now let us draw C since the three of them will interact with each other so the outer shell you need to draw bigger Okay, so different atom use different symbol. Therefore, for O we use X, for C we use dot. Okay, since oxygen need to accept two electron, therefore carbon will share two electron with 
each of them. Once it shares two electrons with each of them, it means that it shares four electrons with both of them. Therefore, its valence electron has been shared with all of them. Okay, so for oxygen, once carbon share two electron, oxygen also need to share two electron with carbon too. Therefore, um, deduct by two, we need to draw four ele four valence electron at here. Okay, so now let us count: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, wow, oxygen has been achieved stable orbital electron arrangement. While for carbon, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It also achieves stable or tight electron arrangement. Okay, so now let's talk about the differences between ionic compound and covalent compound. Okay, for uh, for example, for ionic compound is MgO and Na2O, which is magnesium oxide and sodium oxide. While for the example for covalent compound is carbon dioxide or oxygen. Okay, so Let's look solubility. Ionic compound is soluble in water. So, for carbon compound, is opposite. It is insoluble in water. But it is soluble in organic solvent. And so it is insoluble in organic solvent. So for ionic compound, it can conduct electricity in molten or aqueous solution. This is because all ionic bonds are ion, therefore they can move freely to carry those charges. While for covalent compound, it cannot conduct electricity because it is molecule, therefore it does not have ions that can move freely to carry charges. For ionic compound, it has high melting point and boiling point. This is because um, ionic compound is attracted by strong electrostatic forces of attraction. Therefore, more heat energy is required to overcome the forces of attraction. For covalent compound, it has low boiling point and melting point. This is because they are attracted by weak when the well, forces of attraction. Therefore, less heat and less heat energy is required to overcome the forces of attraction. So that's all for chemical bond. Thank you.